This week we'll be going over all of the collectible tape locations in Dying Light 2 for the audiophile achievement. This is for finding all 63 of the hidden tape locations scattered throughout the game. There are a few that are going to be missable if you don't get them from a specific location at a specific time, so we're going to go through those first and then go through all of the others that you could get after you finish the main story. And now, let's get into it. So there are a few tape collectibles in the game that will be missable if you don't do certain things at specific times. There actually has been talks about them adding a New Game Plus mode recently, so maybe they'll do that and make this a little bit easier to get. But as of the time of recording this video, you do have to get them all during your one playthrough, or you have to restart slash playthrough again with a friend who is earlier in the story. As far as the missable tapes go, the first thing that you're going to have to do is before the main mission number 9, Revolution or Into the Dark. We'll need to talk to the first member of the Carrier's Guild in the Peacekeeper base of Quarry's End. He'll be standing right over here and you'll just need to talk to him about his guild, the Carriers. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. Then once you get to the central loop, you'll be able to actually go to the Carrier's Guild area and pick up tape 28, the City Classifieds, the Cable Guy, from the front desk where the leader is. Then there aren't actually any more missable tapes until you get to Mission 21, Now or Never, where you'll need to go through most of the missions until you get to the point of confronting the Colonel's wife and you're going to find yourself in Waltz's lab. This is where you can pick up tapes 61, 62, and 63 for each of Walt's chamber recordings. And then for the last part of the missable tape collectibles, you're gonna need to make sure that you grab tape 46, Journal of a Night Runner 6, from up here on this building at this safe house. This one's gonna end up going away after you complete the game, so make sure you grab it before the 22nd main quest, X13. There are a decent amount of missable memento collectibles, so we're going to go through all of those in next week's video. But now that we've gone over all of the missable tape collectibles, we can go ahead and just go over the entire list of all 63 of the tapes in the game. Starting off in the Houndfield district, we have tape number one right over here. And I'll have the names of the tapes up on the screen just so you can double check your list of collectible tapes to make sure that you've got it. Tape number two is over here. Then we have tape number three over here. Tape number four is right over here. Tape 5 is here. Then we can move on to the Trinity District. Tape number six is going to be over here. You won't actually be able to get into this little hideout until main quest number nine, Revolution or Into the Dark. But you will be able to come back here afterwards. Tape number seven is over here. Tape number eight is right over here. Tape number 9 is right here in this metro station. Tape number 10 is right over here in the bazaar. Tape number 11 is also going to be in the bazaar. Tape number 12 will also be in the bazaar. 
and tape number 13 is also going to be in the bazaar, but it's going to be at the very top of the church tower. You'll have to climb your way up, and then it's going to be in this safe, which the code is 510. Then tape number 14 is going to be over here. Tape number 15 is going to be over here. Tape 16 will be over here. And then we can move on to the Horseshoe District. Tape 17 will be over here. Tape number 18 is going to be in this GRE Quarantine Building. Tape number 19 will be over here. Tape number 20 will be over here. Tape number 21 is going to be over here. And then we do have a couple that aren't really in either of the two main areas, but they're out in the Outlands. So number 22 is going to be over here in the little Night Runner hideout. And number 23 is going to be over here at a GRE Anomaly. Then we can go ahead and go to the Downtown District. Tape number 24 is going to be over here. Tape number 25 will be over here. Tape number 26 over here. Tape number 27 over here. And then tape number 28 is going to be the one that you have to go through the Carrier's Guild quest line. Of course, that means you're going to have to talk to the first carrier over in the Peacekeeper base before the main quest number 9, Revolution or Into the Dark. If you don't talk to him before then, this tape will be inaccessible. Then tape number 29 is over here. Tape number 30 is over here. Tape 31 over here. Tape number 32 will be over here. Then we can move on to the Garrison District, and we have Tape 33 is right here. Tape number 34 is right here.
Tape number 35 is going to be right here. Now this one's a little bit tricky depending on who you assigned the district to. If you assigned it to the peacekeepers, it's just going to be sitting on the table. You could just grab it from there. But if you're like me and you gave it to the survivors, you're going to have to go through the side quest, Persons of Interest. This is going to be a little quiz that you go through. And as long as you get all the answers right, you can get it. But you will have to go through the Carrier's Guild a little bit to get the information for the last question. Being able to finish this side quest has apparently been bugged for some people, but for me it was fixed, and they did just patch the game so that may have been one of the things that they fixed. Then tape number 36 is over here. Tape 37 is right over here. Tape 38 is over here. Tape number 39 is going to be over here. This is going to be in Lawan's apartment, which you can go to for main quest number 17, The Shoe. You can, of course, still come back here after the mission, so either way, you can go grab that. Then we can go to the New Don Park district. Tape 40 will be right here in the Fisheye Canteen. Tape 41 will also be in the fisheye. Tape 42 is also going to be in the fisheye. And tape 43 will also be in the fisheye. Then we can go on to the wharf district. Tape 44 will be right here. Tape 45 will be over here in this GRE quarantine building. Tape 46 will be over here at this Night Runner hideout on top of this building. This is the one that you need to make sure you do before you go through the main quest number 22, X13, because that building is going to get destroyed during that mission. Tape 47 will be right here. And then we have a few tapes that are going to be unlocked during some side quests. So after you finish the broadcast mission, you can come back to the Peacekeeper base and come down here. Behind this door, there's going to be a Wall of Valor where you'll have a whole side quest quest line to go down for different Wall of Valor missions. So once you talk to this lady, she's going to give you a couple of locations for where members of the Unit 404 were last seen. As you go up to each location, you're going to have their tapes start playing, and at the end, you'll get this unlocked. That's going to be tape 48 for completing Wall of Valor Bad Medicine.
Tape 49 for completing Wall of Valor Lost Transmission. Tape 50 for completing Wall of Valor Deadly Exchange. And then once you do all three of those missions, you're going to unlock the last one to get Tape 51, Wall of Valor Missing in Action. This one you'll get at the very end once you turn in this last quest. Then we can move on to the Muddy Grounds District for Tape 52. And then go to St. Paul Island for Tape 53 over here. Tape 54 over here. Tape 55 right over here. And then we can go to the lower damn air for tape number 56 over here in this GRE quarantine building. Tape 57 over here. Tape 58 over here. And then we can go to the newfound Lost Lands for Tape 59 right here. Tape 60 over here. And then for the last three, we have those missable ones in the epilogue for Tape 61, Tape 62, and Tape 63, all in Waltz's office. And with that, you'll have all 63 of the tape collectibles to get the audio file achievement. And now that that one's out of the way, be sure to check out my other Dying Light 2 guides or whatever video of mine YouTube recommends.